Hi everyone, this is Chris Grouse, Commissioner of District 1 out here on St. Pete Beach. Just wanted to um, give you a quick uh, community update, let you know what's going on in our city. Obviously our ongoing uh, projects that we have going on in the city here, the Gulf Boulevard project, which believe it or not, we can probably see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, and um, but we are still uh, a little ways away from being finished with this, so um, please pay attention out there. There is going to be some new traffic patterns um, in the next couple weeks as they remove some barriers in some places, finish up some areas and have to get started on some others. So as far as red tide goes, we seem to be in a, a fairly decent spot with that right now. The most of the red tide seems to be staying offshore. Uh, so that's all good. Wanted to uh, also please let everybody know that um, for the latest updates on all the public works projects, um, along with uh, red tide updates, um, go to the city's website. Uh, there actually is a button on there that you can click uh, for Notify Me, which will um, give you the latest updates on everything that's happening in the city. So uh, go check that out. It's a, a real great tool to keep informed and updated on what's going on. We have uh, our next city commission meeting. Um, again, as uh, Mayor Al Johnson mentioned last week, we've had to move our commission meetings to Mondays this month for budget purposes. So this next commission meeting is going to be the 27th of this month and it is going to be on Monday. So keep that in mind and um, you can watch those on the city website also I believe um, or also on uh, there's a cable channel that you can you can check that out on. We have new ownership at the uh, um, Cory Avenue Beach Theater and um, there was a community meeting last night and uh, got some really good input from um, some of the residents as to what they would like to see. Um, the owners have um, assured us that they are going to um, keep it as a, as, as a theater building. Uh, it'll be not sure what they're going to use it for yet, but uh, they're not going to turn it into uh, uh, condos or uh, a drugstore or anything like that. So um, we're going to try to keep some of that, um, keep some of that historic uh, feel there on Cory Avenue. Just wanted to remind everybody, again, um, check out the event calendar on the, the city website. I'll give you a updates on what's going on at the library, when we're having uh, arts and craft shows, Pass a Grill, we've got the um, Sunday morning market on Cory Avenue, so get out there and, and support local businesses and uh, enjoy the weather uh, here in our great city. We've got the October concert series coming up in Haram Park. Uh, again, check the, uh, the city calendar um, on, the, on the city website for that. There's going to be some great concerts in the park and uh, uh, it's always good to get out there and again enjoy the weather and enjoy the enjoy the scenery and and uh, see some of your fellow residents. We have the trunk or treats going to be coming up here in Haram Park at the end of October for around Halloween. So um, uh, put that on your calendar also. Um, and with the holidays coming up, keep an eye out for the boat parade schedule and uh, all the other holiday activities we'll be having around the community here. So try to try to stay safe out there and um, do what you can to, to support your local small businesses, the shops and stores and restaurants here. I think those are some of the things that really, that really make our community uh, a, a great little beach community here. So everybody stay safe, have a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.